All right, what is up all you gamers out there? The name is Tekken Heat, and I do know I said that I was going to Miami to um start out the next few episodes of the test drive series, but I kind of forgot that New York also had a dealership. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm coming here to uh, New York and the cars we have here are the Raptor, which is gonna be our first purchase, the Charger, the Grand Cherokee, really not looking forward to that, I'm not gonna lie. I'm looking forward to this, I'm not gonna lie, but Mini Cooper seems like a pretty interesting car. And oh my gosh, the Charger RT. Can't wait for that. I'm pretty sure this is um Dom's car, isn't it? That that's what he had the charger. But till we get to there, let's start driving the perf spec Ford Raptor. I'm not gonna lie, in my honest opinion, and I mean this legitly. If I were to purchase any kind of, you know what? I kind of want to, oh wait, we, we're going to do both, perf and dirt. But if I were to buy any kind of truck, it would be the Raptor. I, there was just something about it when I first saw it, especially with that um decal it had in the back. I don't know what kind of thing it was. It was kind of like one of those black terrorist things that they had, especially in the orange. When I saw that, I'm just like, that would be the truck. If I were to ever have to get a truck, it would be this. So I'm kind of excited to actually be driving this. So let's see how it looks. That's come. In all honesty, I did not know what I would expect to get from this in a perspective, but it looks pretty damn nice. I'm not going to lie. Although, I think uh, that's a bit too much, you know, never mind, that looks beautiful. I was just about to say, like, it looks like a bit too much going on in the front, but... For some of them, they look pretty good. Oh my god. But like that, I would get. That is damn too much. But that looks so... That's interesting. Like, just... Just look at that. That... <laughs> that is overkill, bro. See, this is what I would also go for. Something nice and clean. And not too race car-ish. Like, something not overdone. This I would get. It looks like a pretty nice front end. And then, of course, you have the stock front bumper. But in all honesty, I might... I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with this. I might keep the Ford. I want to keep either that... Or this because that also does look nice but I think just to represent you know Ford because in all honesty out of all of the American brands I would go with Ford no the rear bumpers just look straight up weird so I'm gonna go with the stock fenders I think this is the time where there needs to be fenders for the trucks Keeping the car, oh, but that's a classic though. But this is first spec, and we gotta have carbon fiber. Now, for the rims, as a Volkswagen Passat just passes by my view. Oh, huh, why the heck not? Wait, what's our not? Mm. Nah, I'm actually gonna keep this. I'm actually gonna keep these. You don't think I ever do that? Uh, the carbon fiber, of course, has to go on. But what do we have here? What in the fuck is that? What in the fuck?
I had to get it. That's just something where- Oh my gosh. That's overkill. Oh, but the stock... Like, with nothing on it, just like regular carbon fiber, just looks so damn good. Which I might just get, because a damn supercharger with the blower just <sighs> like wow that is intimidating as hell i might actually keep the carbon fiber version i actually don't do any carbon fiber blower so let's do it but i think i just heard a phone go off in my house but I'm the only one here and my phone is right next to me but I will ignore that because I don't want to be creeping myself out um for colors I like this <laughs> y'all thought I was going for the blue didn't y'all mm, sleep no whoa see it was that it was something like that except it was like upside down ish coming from the top to the bottom it looked pretty dope and i like that looks damn forget what i said about the panther this looks damn aggressive i think this is what the raptor deserves man you know what you know what As much as I, you know what, no, that's going on a dirt spec. I'm already calling dibs on that. That's going on the dirt spec. I don't care what you guys say. Dibs have already been made. This is going on the dirt spec. Don't care what y'all people say. This is going on my dirt spec. Raptor. All right. It just has to. Not that it has to, but I don't care what y'all say. But for now, I'm putting that, but I don't care what anybody says that raptor in its dirt spec is going to have whatever the hell leopard printing bullshit i don't know why i'm deciding to curse but it, it needs it but yeah look at our ride it looks damn aggressive doesn't it oh my gosh Let's get it on the streets. Bro, that window. Like, that window. I don't, I don't think I understand. Like, let's get a look at it once we drive off. There's a. You know, someone is in the party chat, but. That wing. Do. Like, oh my. Nigga, that wing, do what in the living fuck is this? Bro, you can't expect what more would you want from that, man? <laughs> Oh, bro, that sounds beautiful. If I do say so myself, you know. Mm. Damn. I don't know if I want to actually put this on a strip. Actually, not nah, screw it. I'm gonna put it on the strip, just to, you know, as a little test to see what we got however i will not drift this car because it's a truck it ain't something you want to be drifting oh i just not realize this wait it's gonna be kind of hard to put this on a strip in the daytime because i won't see the red light when i pass it by so damn it i don't think it really matters because we all know it's not going to beat the fastest lap time so what we're gonna do is put this into automatic all driving assist three 
two, one, go. Let's see how we do. Let's see if we can at least time it right when I actually pass the finish line. So after I hit fifth gear, I'm gonna hit that nice button right here. Let's go. Oh, whoa, that thing. Can we hit the 200, please? Please, 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 come on. We just passed the 20 second marker. Oh my god, don't hit that plane, 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 don't hit that plane. Come on, through the tires. Fuck. You know what? Where that plane was. It wasn't too far from here, so when I, by the time I hit that plane, we were at 30 seconds. So by the time I crossed the finish line, we would have been around 31. It would have been like 31 seconds. So it's not exact, but it would have at least been 31 seconds. Now, I think this is a perfect time for me to actually discuss on this topic, and that's the topic between uh cars and trucks and the reason why i want to discuss about this is because well since i am actually driving a truck as you guys can tell um you know many people kind of have this sort of uh debate on which is better and in my opinion this is all obviously preference i am the one who likes to prefer the cars as in like the sports cars, the sedans, and stuff like that. I prefer those over trucks for a couple of reasons, really. Uh, my biggest reason is because I see as the cars to be more race car friendly. Uh, I like I like the feeling of being lower to the ground because I don't know why. There's just some there's this weird feeling. Whenever I drive, say, my mom's Jeep, um, she owns a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Every time I drive that, it just feels weird being high, just being higher than everyone. And yes, I do know that a lot of people like that because, uh, not, you know, you aren't being blocked visually by those in front of you. But, <clears throat> but in my honest opinion, it just feels weird to drive with. I don't know it's just me maybe it's just because I'm so more used to driving um, or being just in the seat of a low a lowered car not as in like coil over lowered but I mean like just a car that's more to the ground than a truck would be so I guess since I was just raised that way I kind of saw me being more you know comfortable with cars over trucks and it's honestly not really a bad thing you know my friend some of my friends they love trucks my friends are just like mad in love with them and i respect that you know i have no problem with them i'm not gonna like have some debate with them saying oh like you like trucks that's disgusting um only thing i would do with the truck is if i'm doing like some heavy duty heavy duty driving like say i was um say i was carrying or i was hauling a trailer behind me or something or maybe if i'm going off road or just you know carrying something heavy in general like if i was moving you know if it wasn't that then i wouldn't be owning a truck and i just dinged that cop and he just zero fucks were given that day i guess so anyways in my honest opinion i just love cars a lot more because for one i like the feeling of being lowered to the ground i like that a lot especially when i soon one day get my next car uh, I really I'm planning on getting it lower too. I don't want it to be like that stock that stock right height I like having a car with a lower right height. It just looks awesome to me now I'm not talking scraping lowered, but at least lower than stock uh, Another reason why I like cars over trucks is because cars are a lot lighter <clears throat> You know, I guess people would expect that you know right away that a truck is a lot heavier than a car and you can feel it whenever you drive and I feel it every time I get 
in the driver's seat of my mom's Jeep. Every time I drive it, it just feels weird to me because whenever I go through turns or whenever I hit the brake or something, I just feel, I don't feel as confident as I would if I was just in a, say my dad's Lexus, because that's what my dad owns. Um, two completely opposite kinds of cars and you can feel the difference. Whenever I'm in my mom's Jeep, and even when I test drove my friend's uh, Ford Explorer, I felt the same thing too, and it's that heaviness that I just don't like. That heaviness and with the car like being higher up, it just feels so weird to me, and in all honesty, every time I go through turns, I feel like I need to be much more cautious, or else I'm possibly gonna you know three-wheeler two-wheeler or something I just feel like it doesn't it's just not geared to my driving style which feel man there's so many cops here which for those of you guys that do not know my driving style is you know hammer the throttle I like speed I'm all about speed which is kind of why I got into my recent accident which is why my car got totaled is because I was you know really going at it I was hammering the throttle I was pushing the limits of my car <clears throat> and that's something that I love to do I feel like every time I do it, it puts a smile on my face I it gives me adrenaline and I I guess you can say I'm an adrenaline junkie but it's just stuff like that that I just can't do in a regular in a truck you know I feel like if I were to do that I would definitely like going uh, crossing an intersection if I was to make a right or a left I feel like I would instantly be two wheeling it and possibly flipping over the truck or SUV or whatever uh, variant you want to give it so when it comes to stuff like this yes there are some trucks or SUVs or whatever that look good for instance the Raptor the one I'm driving right now maybe not in this form with this huge wing and body kit but even in its stock mode uh it looks like a beautiful thing it looks like a beautiful vehicle you know i said it earlier if i had to get a truck if i had to get a truck it would be the raptor the raptor just looks downright beautiful it looks like something you could have a lot of fun in and that would be something I would drive. The Raptor would definitely be the truck of my choice. However, does that mean I would prefer it over, say, an Evo, uh, Subaru, a Skyline, an Eclipse, any kind of, you know, car, any kind of sedan or uh, sports car? Would I prefer the Raptor over any of that of course not you know what I prefer it over a Corolla or say uh, what's a it's kind of underrated low-end car um a Civic you know <clears throat> I would probably still choose the the sedans over the truck simply because the um, the sedans are just more geared to the way how I drive they you know sure you know you're not thinking of like oh the moment i get into the civic i'm going to be going like a hundred plus miles an hour no but it feels more comfortable doing it in that than it would a truck at least in my opinion i would feel a lot more comfortable whipping around the turns in a civic than i would a raptor or an f-150 or a silverado and stuff like that <clears throat> but this isn't my bash on trucks this is just my preference this is just me talking about my preference of either a a truck or a regular you know sedan like car I personally just prefer the cars I prefer a car over a truck it's just my preference many people might disagree many people would agree that's the beauty of the car scene that's the beauty of this world is that we are all able to have our very open opinion we are able to have our own preference and the beauty is that there are many options that are geared to our opinion <clears throat> sorry I'm carrying my throat a lot I don't know why it's just 
it should it just doesn't feel good i don't know why there are a lot of cops man i'm gonna run into them one of these days but anyways i'll like as i was saying there are a lot of options we have that are geared to our opinions for me i love i love fast sedans and sports cars we have the evo we have the impreza we have my my former eclipse we have the skyline we have some could say the miata the civic you know all these things i prefer i would love to drive every one of these cars i love them a lot but for those who prefer trucks, they can get stuff like the Explorer, the F-150, the Silverado, the Dodge Ram, the Raptor, you know, and everybody's happy. And that's something that I just find very beautiful about the car scene is that there's a car out there for somebody, you know, it's hard to really say that I do not like driving cars, that all these cars are just bad that I there's just none geared to my liking it's kind of impossible to say that because looking at how many cars there are you know there's something to fit somebody's preference if you like the off-road scene you can go to a truck if you like the cruising scene you can go for like a you can go for like a sports car you could go for a convertible put it more like that if you like going fast you can go for a sports car if you like um if you have a family you can get a sedan but if you like a if you have a kind of family or if you want a if you want a daily driver but still like to go fast you can get a sports sedan kind of like an evo you know or if you like old school, you can always get like a old school Cadillac or something like that. There's a car out there for everybody. There's a car out there that fits somebody's preference, which is something that I really do love and I find it to be amazing. So for me, when it comes to the debate between trucks and cars, I am one who prefers cars over the trucks, but that doesn't mean I hate the trucks <clears throat> sorry I clear my throat a lot but that doesn't mean I hate the trucks no it just means that I prefer one over the other and that there's a lot that's more geared there are a lot of cars that are more geared to my driving style and my likeliness than the trucks and that's just my personal opinion so pretty much that's all I have to say Reach Glacier Park entrance. Wait, I think the entrance is right here. So, pretty much all I have to say. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, comment on, you know, comment on what you prefer. What kind, what you prefer to drive. You know, if you if you want to make it more specific with the kind of make and model of the car. You know, what is your preference? What is your driving style? What do you look for in a car like as in like what do you look for in a car that's more geared to you what do you look for as your daily driver or as your play toy in a you know in a mature way not in a dirty kind of way what do you prefer put it in the comments down below subscribe if you want to see more i'll be posting these things up daily can't remember what the next car I'm gonna do. Actually, no, the next thing I'm gonna be doing is putting this into a dirt spot, dirt spec. So, gonna be taking this Raptor off road just like I think it should be. So, can't wait for that. This has been a fun drive. It looks like a beautiful car. I do think it's a beautiful car. I'm pretty sure some of you guys out there would think so too. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time, this has been your boy, Taking Heat, and I.